Okay, round one, let's slam some nerds. And, ooh, like it. Not incredible, but it's an actual playable hand. Looks solid enough. Countervailing Wind's not doing anything yet, but we can get there. And we have our Dune Diviner Desert combo. Yeah. Might on summon really early just to get the countervailing winds working. Probably not that early. <laughs> I mean, that card's just not really a problem for me yet. We'll see. I it certainly could be. If they have a Drake Haven or something, the card's insane, but I'm okay leaving it for a moment. Hmm. I want to cycle here so that we can get countervailing ones online, and also just so that I can draw land, because I really need it for an Oasis Ritualist. I think... Because this is the more expensive card, I should probably cycle the Greater Sandworm. As sad as that makes me. Traveler's Amulet. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to want to play it. We'll just pass. Next turn, I can have the wins plus the amulet, so that's good. Just hopefully they don't do anything too crazy. If yeah. That's good. We do have the double unsummon, so whatever they embalm back, we can just unsummon it. Kind of sucks they get to draw the card, but that's alright. And hopefully it doesn't have anything too crazy. Okay, yeah, just not unwavering and shit. That's not bad. It's not great for us either, but it's fine. And do I go for another color? Do I go for another forest? Do I go for an island? Island does let me double unsummon. Um... Probably should have left up the Survivor's Encampment. Maybe just done it off the green. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. I have the Survivor's Encampment already, so maybe I just go with, like, a island here just to keep up other cards. What do I need double green for? I'm going to need triple blue for our. I need double green for this Rampaging Hippo and the Tenacious Hunter. Eventually, I'll want to have extra green for Frilled Sandwalla. I don't know. This is a tough one. I'm going to go... I really want to just fix, actually. I think I'm just going to take the Swamp. And we can pass. Now Countervailing Winds actually does something. The Unsummon is still useful here. There's a pretty high chance they just use it to get the Unwavering initiate back right now. Like, just play a land on Unwavering. I probably would do that. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, we are winsing that for sure. <laughs> Goodbye, Ominous Sphinx. That card's ridiculous. Don't want to deal with that. And now we're getting our lands, which is perfect. So we go like this, hold up the unsummon. And we're off. This is going good. Striped Riverwinder is coming down next turn if I want it to. A Wing Shepherd. I'm tempted to just unsummon that right now just for tempo. Yeah, I mean, like, it's an expensive card. I think that it's fine. I've got the other unsummoned for the Unwavering, so it seems fine. And let's jam that Striped River Wonder. Sweet. Now we're just in the game of hopefully playing big nasties. River Winder, Rampaging Hippo, and start smashing some face. Kind of hoping they play the Unwavering Initiate. If they play the 3-3 again, I'll attack the Striped River Winder and I might have to use my Unsummon as a combat trick. Which is a little scary just because of the fact that I 
do want to be able to bounce the unwavering. It's just so much value. Hmm. All right. Looking for Winder. And I suppose if I kill the Vizier, I don't know that it matters. Oh, they're just not blocking. Okay. I am also very okay with that. Say the hippo. I was deciding whether or not I wanted to tap the survivors in Camin or just tap the Oasis Ritualist now. Lay claim. Uh, no. Well, I mean, I might as well wait for combat. Okay, they're not attacking it on the ground. I just figured that I don't want to tap the Oasis Ritualist beforehand. But it claims a pretty good card. It's unfortunate that now we're going to have the Unsummon down. Probably know that I don't have any tricks after that. Why do you have to have Vigilance? I mean, it's six mana. It totally makes sense to have Vigilance. It needs more abilities, even not less. The card's pretty awful already. <gasps> oh, we are doing it. We are so doing it. Okay, so we have... Let me think about this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we play this, we can get three. Oof. Might take a turn or two, but I might want to exert this now to get the Nog Vitalist and the Rampaging Hippo down. Definitely smashing with the Riverwinder. I'd love to trade with some of what they're doing. Nope. All right. Will Hippo Vitalist. Unfortunately, we exert, but this Hour of Eternity is going to be insane no matter when we play it at this point. The longer we wait, the better it gets, really. Cast out. Goodbye, Rampaging Hippo. That's okay. We've still got lots of things that we get to kill here. What's really cool is we get to exile the uh, Unwavering Initiative, possibly. Wait, what? Splashing the Sand Strangler. Ooh, nice. All right, they didn't kill one, and they didn't kill our Naga Vitalist. That's really good news for us. And all right, drew the land, so I should be able to do it anyways. Tap blue. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm one off. From what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to keep slamming. I'm just going to keep slamming. If they want to trade, that's fine. I've got the Hour of Eternity. And if they want to swing back, I think that's also fine. I think. I'm surprised about the Sand Strangler. It's a pretty sweet splash, though. Yep. It's too bad we didn't get to yank that out of the graveyard to stop them from having it. Do you get this Ominous Sphinx, though? That'll block the flyer. They're not attacking on the ground? That's insane. They have to, right? Opponent's playing way too scared. If they'd been more aggressive, we couldn't be this greedy with the Hour of Eternity. Definitely needed to be greedier with it. 
Or they definitely needed to be more aggressive with it, I mean. All right. One. Is it only in our graveyard? Oh, it is only from our graveyard. Oh, wow. I totally thought that was from both. Oh, that card's worse. I do get in with the Striped River Winder, so I could do that. They're gonna have to block it now. And I get the feeling they'd double block it. Yeah. All right. Kill as much as possible. As in those two things. And buy back all of our stuff. Boom. Add blue, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. <laughs> Sandworm Diviner and a Strip River, River Winder all coming back to smash again. So cool. Wow, they have a Kefnis last word too? Sick. Oh, we're still in trouble then. I have this devotee. Okay, play that. I need to start racing. So, in you go. They can't let either of them hit. They have some pretty decent blocks, though. Hoping just for some chumps, honestly. Yeah. Blocking that with every single thing so they can make sure that it dies. Alright. Kill the sandworm, we can't keep it alive. So I might as well just trade with the one, because there's really no point in pumping now. And then just Bitter Blade. They get to draw a card off the Eternalize. But they can't do it next turn, because they are keeping all their lands tapped with Kefnis last word. So that's useful. Alright. Bitter Blade and pass. We still have the Devotee of Strength up if we want to exert the Oasis Ritualist, which is somewhat useful. Just gotta remember that we have that. This Winged Shepherd just won't stop. This is getting to be a very close game. I thought we were gonna run away with it. Okay, one tapper desert. That little bit of life might help us a lot. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can double pump. All right. Let's smash in. If I attack in with this, yeah, they're going to need a lot of blockers to stop this. Like, to actually kill this takes a lot. Because if they block with all three, then I can just pump it, pump it. And they have to then block with this. I just want to exert the Bitter Blade Warrior and make sure I'm exerting. It's gonna be tight. I 
They have to block this or they die. They have to block all of our creatures. All of our creatures are currently lethal. They might have an unsummon or something. If they do, then they can really get us. Be pretty bad news. I'm feeling good about this game, though. I mean, it depends on what they untap and get. I mean, they've been getting insane cards so far. Lay claim into Kefnet's last word was gross. Looks like, I mean, I'm hoping the plan is just to eternalize the Proven Combatant, because that's not going to stop. They're not going to draw the card anymore off the Vizier, because it's going to die here. I'm only really worried about an Unsummoner uh, Windsor Rebuke, but I think if they had that, they would already have done it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My, my, my. That I'm okay with. Sure, they can get a proven combatant back, even draw a card off of it because of the Vizier. But then I'm not under a clock anymore and I've got time. I can figure out a win from there. I mean, this is a bad situation for them to be in no matter what. I think that that might be the correct block for them. It just really sucks. I could, I can understand they wouldn't want to do it. It's a tough one. They might also just be baiting me, which would be kind of cool. If that's actually just like a bait, where they're trying to act like, oh, like, yeah, play, you know, oh no, don't pay mana into it. All right, yeah, yeah, they actually have something. Um, I can pump it again. And I really think I want to. I need to kill their team here. It's unfortunate. But, like I said, the team needs to go away. I don't want them drawing extra cards off of that thing. I can gain another life off the survivors in Kamen next turn so that the Winged Shepherd's not quite lethal yet, which definitely helps. Proven. Okay, an Eternal. The Vigilance on the Winged Shepherd right now is so useful. Hello. Hello, answered the Winged Shepherd. So I can attack the Dune Diviner. If I do that, though, I can't play the Shimmer Scale Drake. And I also don't get to use the Survivor's Encampment. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to play Shimmer Scale into the Frilled. And we're going to pass. I might even chump with Frilled Sandwall on the Proven Combatant if I have to. I almost forgot about the Afflict, too. Yikes. Yeah, we'd have been in trouble if they didn't lose one of these creatures. Now I think they're dead. Because when we untap with this and this... They're going to have a really tough time. They have to basically have a win here. they got to return our Drake. If they can do that, then they win. Because they can get the Afflict and the Wing Shepherd. Yes! Alright, got him. That was a really tough game. That was a good one. So they have a Flyer that we have trouble dealing with. And I don't really have a way to put a card in against it. Really just the Unsummons. Hmm. We have the Aerial Guide, Shimmer Scale. Yeah, I, I have the stuff that we have against Flyers already. There's not much that I can do about that. Can't do more than what we're already doing. So, I think just run it back. Cancel possibly. 
I mean, they do have Lay Claim and Kefnet's Last Word. So Cancel's looking kind of nice. What would I want to cut for Cancel is the thing. I really want to counter a Lay Claim if possible. The Hour of Eternity was really good. Unsummon seems great because they've got a lot of Eternalize and Embalm. This is a tough one. Maybe the Wall, but Wall would have been really good that game because it was a long grindy game. I mean, we saw how good Devotee of Strength and even just Dune Diviner's little bit of life gain was. Yeah, this is a tough one. Maybe take out the Torment of Hailfire. It is a pretty, uh, pretty greedy play. So I could cut the Torment, play the Cancel, cut the Swamp, play another Forest. I actually like the other Forest there. I think we have enough islands already, even with the extra cancel, because we're going to do a lot of fixing for it. And then we don't have to split our Traveler's Amulets and stuff trying to find the swamp. We don't ever have to worry about that. We can just make sure that we get a lot of islands. Alright. Jam in for the second game. Ooh. Yeah, I'll keep. We can go for the forest, so we've got everything that we need. Uh, survivors, amulet pass. That took a really long time to play game one. <laughs> Just realized how long it was. Get the unsummon. And a forest. Cycle the lay claim. Alright, so we don't have to worry about that anymore, at least. Still have to worry about the stupid Kefnitz last word, though. Which is the bigger threat. So cheap to play. Oh, uh, they also have their wall. I mean, Dune Diviner can kind of, sort of, counter that for a while. And then we're just gonna crock the crossing and hopefully smash in for a ton. Oh, they're stuck on lands? Oh, no. Oh, that is, that's bad for our opponent, then. Because I'm thinking that the crocodile here is going to do a lot of damage. They have an impeccable timing, so we definitely want to put the counter on the Dune Diviner. Not give them the opportunity to kill it that way. They have a lot of removal. They have, like, cast out and stuff. Ping us. Sure. I will race one versus five. We win! I'd rather our opponent played the game. Uh, but, well, that's what Crocodile does. Crocodile ends games very early and very quickly. And we had a sick hand to follow it up with. I mean, we were just going to Shimmer Scale next turn into Devotee plus Unsummon. Uh, it would have been, even if they had drawn the third land here, they were just a little bit behind. And I think it would have been enough for us to seal the deal on this one. Because our hand is sick. We drew really, really well. All right. On to round two, 